Hello! So, someone asked... Hmm. Let me... Uh, I don't want to do it, actually. Well... <clears throat> someone asked, can't you cut aluminium with your current diode laser? Which is this thing, and me have... Should be 12 watts or something, which I doubt it, but... Now, the biggest problem I have is... I think the po oh whoops the pointer size is quite like focusing is really hard so I actually should make a uh, a piece of wood for instance ramped like this on an angle then use lower power and let it go left to right on a few different well left to right move over right to left and then see where the cutting depth is the biggest and then you can measure what the focal length is <coughs> or focus uh, yeah so where the focus should be this moment it's kind of hard uh, I thought I had it focused before I tried all of this but the uh, cutting width is quite insane big then I changed things and it didn't get any better maybe it got worse so it has like a, a, kind, a kind of air assist which might help but also might blow up the aluminium cut it because uh, of the heat it might warp air comes underneath it and then it blows it away whatever I'll show you it can cut 7 micron aluminium foil now normally people blackened out the aluminium so it will evaporate the aluminium <coughs> because otherwise it will reflect so I thought I'll use a 7 micron aluminium with paper backside it's white it's not as good as black uh, but if I paint this black I cannot remove the paper and I cannot glue a backing material to it like a membrane so that's of no use so I'll try this a few times just to show you uh, and I think the biggest problem is this laser consists of two or maybe more I think two diode lasers now a diode laser has a bigger uh, point size to begin with let alone if you use two they will never overlap perfectly so they get bigger and there's always a uh, they're never round so it might not be visible but let's say in this direction it might be bigger than in the this direction so it's not even a point it's more like a rectangular shape which doesn't help anyhow I just made a program with uh, some very simple squares so you can see what happens how big this cut width is on black it's smaller but uh, yeah that's of no use for me uh, and I think yeah I think maybe the paper makes it even wider than it actually supposed to be program that makes two squares with full power at 100 or 1000 millimeter a second and then we'll try one with 2000 millimeter per second or minute by the way sorry and three passes so it should in induce less heat downside is that if you remove the paper which will be at the first pass after that it has to go through the reflection aluminium which might not work at all I'm pretty sure it will not work but we'll see so first 1000 millimeter a minute full power two squares and between the squares there should be one millimeter and I'm pretty sure there's not much left in between, but we'll see. 
Oh, an air assist. Oh no. <laughs> Close it away. Okay. So it did cut. It most certainly did cut here. Doesn't look that nice. But you can see it's all blackened and burned and with air assist it's less. But let's see if this is also been cut. It is. And we use uh, three passes with twice the speed. See how that goes. I'll add the air assist from the beginning instead of forgetting it. So it did cut again. So this one, well, is blown out by the air assist. So let's see if this one cuts as well. Yeah, I did cut as well in two passes. So it is possible. This is the most burn than this one. This one looks even better. Still, I think I might use too much power, I don't know. But this is square. I think the cutting width is quite terrible, but you can see what's left over here is nothing compared to what's left over here. So we're going... This already looks a little bit better. I might reduce power and still take two passes if that works. I'll have to go inside for that. Be right back. Okay, so um, one pass full power, I believe. Two passes full power. Now I'll try two passes two thirds of the power and three passes two thirds of the power. So it's done, it didn't blow away my part, which is good. It does smell like shit. Did it cut? It did cut, but I think it left less material than this one. Hmm. That's kind of weird. So it did cut, but not really. It took away the middle part as well, so... Yeah. Not much better. So lower power... On the two passes, did not cut it properly. be the amount of air assist? I don't know. What shall I do? Problem is I don't uh, trust the accuracy it, it can get. So having multiple passes might end up like uh, this. 
an outline of a coil, but all the aluminium was gone. <laughs> well, it became a shorter video than I hoped for, because uh, my USB uh, stick is not recognized anymore by this computer or the other one, so... Great. Well, <laughs> it ends here, I guess. Ah, <sighs> what a bullshit. Which is quite annoying because uh, most of my material for my um, chargers is on there as well. Now, I do have a backup somewhere. But I'll have to see from what time it was. This is going to be f incredible annoying. I hope I can um, get it back. I'll look into that and uh, maybe I'll buy some better ones. Because these, I don't know. I only have them for a month or so. Apparently they suck. Well, no more testing. I could say you can cut aluminium with this kind of laser, but I don't think it's ideal. But I do think if this one can, I'm pretty sure that most other lasers can do as well and might do a better job than this one just because the point or dot size is so insanely huge of this dude. Hmm. Well, okay, see you around, bye bye.